welcome back to my course industrial biotechnology today i want to share with you a very interesting fermentation process that is the wine industry which is largely in operation throughout the world now wine as you know it is pro produced from the fruit juice wine is the product by the alcoholic fermentation of juice of sound and ripe grape and the usual cellar treatment what do you mean by sound and ripe you know grape sound grape grape means the texture of the grape should be hard it is not soft and uh, what is ripe if it is ripe then and only then the sugar content or you know in the grape juice will be high if it is uh, it is unripe then then the sugar content will be very will be less so it is desirable that uh, your grape should be right sound and ripe if it is sound we can assume that microbial contamination in the <coughs> in the grape will be very less but if it is it is soft there is a possibility of more microbial contamination in the system so usually we prefer sound and ripe grapes for the wine fermentation process and that is followed by cellar treatment cellar is the underground tank where we keep the uh, this uh, uh, fermented material for longer period of time not only for clarification of wine but also i told you in the last class that during the uh, beer making industry that during the maturation process the alcohol the acid and alcohol they form the ester because after just after the alcoholic fermentation what happens that lot of free organic acid that present in the fermentation broth that gives some kind of harsh flavor so so it is mandatory that it is to be passed through some kind of um, maturation process the cellar is the underground tank we can we stored the material for a longer period of time now almost although most wine is made of grapes but it may also be made from other fruits as for example apple juice uh, from apple juice we can also we can produce wine the science of wine and wine making is known as onology this is the how it terminology comes now if you look at the type of wine that is available one is steel wine another is sparkling wine what is the steel wine steel wine means uh but um, that you know it doesn't have any any carbon dioxide and in in case of sparkling wine there is a carbon dioxide so there is a evidence of carbon dioxide so this is the basic difference so steel wine production without carbonation and sparkling wine with carbonation both natural and injected this you can do either two way you can allow the fermentation to continue so that carbon dioxide can Uh, organism will produce carbon dioxide there itself or we injected carbon dioxide from outside now if you look at the classification we can have so different types of wine we have appetizer wine uh, the typical name is seri dry to uh, sweet what is the dry wine dry wine means that uh, wine doesn't have any kind of sugar because sweetness we know will be as low as possible because if you touch the wine there should not be any kind of sweetness that is called dry wine and uh, then red table wine is uh, is uh, bhinno rosso this is a dry to sweet and burgundy this is dry and wheat table wine is a rhine wine it is dry dessert wine is uh, example is a port with the red in red and white to tannery but this is sweet in taste and sparkling wine we know that this is quite throughout the world is very common that we have sampen sampen is a name of a place which is located just 140 km from the paris so you might be knowing that that you know uh, france is very famous for wine making and two particular wine is worldwide this is uh, largely in uh, use that is the white wine and red wine that is considered as a table uh, table wine because western country they usually serve during lunch and dinner this wine <coughs> now uh, that uh, sampen since the name of the place is sampen that is why it was sampen 
Now, not necessarily the sparkling wine is only can only produce from the place of champagne. Some other places uh, also produce a sparkling wine. Then we marketed that as a sparkling wine, not as a champagne. Champagne, when it is champagne, it is it is the name of the place where it is produced. But if you if you if you the name is sparkling wine, that is it is produced other than the champagne, other places. But uh, it is of similar taste. Then red and white wine and sparkling wine contains about 10 to 14 percent alcohol by volumes and uh, appetizer and dessert wine contains about 20 percent volume by volume of alcohol. So, this is the alcohol concentration is quite high as compared to beer. Now, the broadly it can be classified as dry wine. I told you dry wine that fermentation practically complete this uh, in this wine, the fermentation complete in the sense I told you that a very small amount of of uh, b b sugar present in the in the wine because it is if you touch the wine there should not be any sweet perception. So it is uh, the, that is called it is it is that is that is why we call it a dry wine. And examples are red and white wine. This is the example of dry wine. Then we have the example of the sweet wine sweet wine wine in which the fermentation has been arrested. So, if the fermentation is arrested then what will happen some sugar unfermentable sugar that remain in the in the fermentation broth in the wine then it is will be sweetened taste or you know purposefully we add some sweetening agent or some other material to it to make it sweet because you know this contains sufficient sugar for sense perceptions and they are fortified by the addition of brandy or you know that uh, wine spirit. Now, sparkling wine those which are made effervescence by secondary fermentation in the bottle or in bulk or carbonations that that is exactly I pointed out that uh, not only you do the carbonation by secondary fermentation also when cell uh, uh, respired it produce carbon dioxide that that is uh, that evaporations will come from that also. Now, typical uh, wine has a different color almost clear that green yellow, platinum yellow, pale yellow, pale gold, deep gold, pale salmon. So, you know different color of wine that is available throughout the world and examples of these wines are given here. Now, I was talking about uh, sparkling wine you can see if you if you see it here. So, it is like this in the sparkling wine that uh, so you have that you know carbon dioxide the bubbles of carbon dioxide evaporations of carbon dioxide that will be there that is uh, that is exactly what is happening here. This is carbon dioxide bubbling is there this is called sparkling wine. But here there is no carbon dioxide that is why it is called a steel wine. If you look at here that here it does not contain any kind of uh, carbon dioxide that is uh, the sampin is prepared from a special variety of grape and black variety pinot noir and the wheat uh, uh, chardonnay that is uh, the, uh, the, the, the cap of the bottles is the sampin it is written like this and uh, the grapes are like this. Now, as far grape is concerned, I like to point out that in in in, in our country, this uh, grape easily this is kind of scattered because it is uh, supporting material. It's required for the plant to grow this uh, grow this uh, uh, grape uh, plants. Then the, the grapes are hanging from this. But here in the western country, particularly if you look at, I shall show you some other slide that uh, it is just like a tree and normal tree and where these grapes are produced. The, the, so, this is the, uh, the different types the type you know it is scapper, but this is just normal tree the plantation that we have. Now, red wine you know, one contains the red color matter extracted from the skin of the grapes. Grapes has you know we have two type of grapes where one is green grapes one is uh, 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 black grapes. So, you know that red color it comes from the skin of the grapes and and then uh, uh, 
then white wine, the wine made from the white grapes or, or maybe little bit greenish grape that we have express the fresh juice of other grapes. The steps now, if you look at the steps of wine making, first we crossing and streaming the grapes. Crossing means you have to cross so that you know you take out the juices from that and steaming that you know steaming means stems uh, that uh, be, be the, is to be separated from the grapes and then treated with sulfur dioxide or pasteurization. Usually we, we, we do the sulfide treatment, potassium we know potassium metabisulfide is a very good preservative that is used as a for the preservative for the, for the uh, treatment of uh, this uh, wine or you can we can pass it through the pasteurization process. We know the pasteurization process means the process through his all the germ is killed. So, in presence of chemicals we can kill the germs in by heating we can kill the germs this is two way it can be done. Now, it is the, this is the fermentation this pass through the fermentation process and this is basically different as compared to other fermentation process the reason is that it is occurred in two different stages one is called primary fermentation and another is secondary fermentation. Now, primary fermentation is inoculated with a starter containing pure culture of yeast in the aerobic condition. Aerobic means it is the micro aerobic we are not doing any kind of much of aeration we use the, we know the yeast under aerobic condition it, it multiplies and secondary fermentation after short period of wine is drawn off and placed in a storage for further fermentation and this is done in complete anaerobic condition. So, this is partially aerobic condition we allow the cell a little bit yeast to grow as uh, simultaneously it produce alcohol to some extent. But in the secondary fermentation process this is a totally anaerobic condition we produce our desired alcohol for main alcohol fermentation take place in the secondary process. Now, after this is followed by racking, racking is kind of separation of solid from the liquid or clarification of wine, storing for aging and clarified and packed. So, this is the subsequent operations that we have. Now, if you look at the process flow diagram, it is uh, it has looked like this. We we take the grapes uh, from the uh, from the from the garden or from the from the field. Then we we wait. Uh, this is grapes weighted and samples of taken to the lab, and then we we receive in the hopper, and then crusher and de-steaming that we steam we separate it out. And here we I shall show you how as the segregation of the uh, stemming is done manually, and then it put is to the um, uh, to the tank followed by fermentation cold uh, cold uh, uh, so soaking tank uh, followed by fermentation and possibly as addition of macerations that you know that we we carry out this fermentation like this here and this is the primary fermentation take place then then we <coughs> we pneumatic press where the because this fermentation process I told you it is partially the aerobic fermentation process due to the aerobic fermentation process it produces lot of carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide that you know your, your, your juice contains lot of seed skin and stems and also they attach to this and they float at the top of the fermenter. So, you can you can this is called pomace you know that you can say separate it out. Pneumatic press the juice separated from the skins and seed and then we take it in the in the barrels or in, in the tanks for carrying out the uh, malolactic fermentation process where the malic acid because malic acid is one of the important ingredients present in the grape juice that also called that is converted lactic acid. The malic acid it is the harsh flavor, but lactic acid does not have harsh flavor in besides that lactic acid has some property of preservation it can use as a preservatives. Then we pass it through the aging process I told you the importance of aging and rack rocking process for the clarification of wine. Then we blended the tanks as per our requirement and we, we, we clarified here we 
filter the suspended material through passing through the filtration. After that, uh, we can we can hear also like I told you in case of beer, we have two type of you know marketing. We have short time market, we have long time market. In the short time market, we we see this we can use little bit of preservative and sell it in the market. And but in case of long time market, we pass through the pasteurization process. Then we do the bottling. The raw materials that is uh, the use the grapes. I told you which contain about 10 to 20 percent weight by volume. And uh, sugar in the form of uh, fructose. I told you that fructose is 10 times sweeter than sugar that uh, than uh, glucose. Grapes uh, contains the nitrogen in the form of protein and is sufficient for the growth of the organism because uh, because uh, this is the anaerobic fermentation process we require very less amount of nitrogen for the growth of organism and uh, but it requires some minerals and vitamin a small amount for the growth of the yeast cells. The pH is uh, usually 3 to 3.6 and uh, a typical acid that present one is malic acid, citric acid and tartaric acid. Now, tartaric acid is responsible for the formation of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar means, I shall discuss later on, this is called bi tartaric acid. And, uh, uh, this is the, this uh, tartaric acid when, uh, when the alcohol concentration is high in the fermentation uh, media, then it forms the lee. Lee means a kind of you know uh, uh, that white layer formations will take place. So that uh, that is due to the bi tartaric formation. That is we call cream of tartar. Now now then. Uh, that you know crossing and steaming of grapes the fine quality of grapes at proper maturity are to be collected i told you the grapes should be sound and ripe and, and the quality of the grapes of a given variety will depend on the condition under which they are drawn soil climate and other conditions this is a couple of things that is important and grapes should be transported in clean containers and they are crushed and stems by a machine and stainless steel is prepared as the material of construction for the machine to avoid the ferric casey. Now, let me let me tell you here the what is what do you mean by ferric casey? Ferric casey is nothing but uh, it is uh, the iron tannate because the iron tannin and tannic acid present in the uh, in the in the in the fruit juice in the grape juice and if you if you cross by using some kind of uh, uh, iron materials then if iron by chance come in contact with tannin it will produce some kind of cloudy because that is why we sometime we we, we see the haziness of the uh, fruit juice due to the formation of iron tannin this is called ferric casey now, this is exactly that I was telling that uh, this is the normal tree that you can see is con not a scapper because it is just uh, this is a tree where the this uh, this uh, grapes are hanging you can see it this uh, looks like this the, this is called sound and and this might be ripe properly you know that uh, this is like this and this is the you know uh, the kind of um, uh, the collection system that is mechanically this grape can be collected and and it is stored in the uh, and stored in the some kind of uh, that you know wagon here. So, you can manually you can do the manually you can uh, do the mechanical mechanically if you do they have a collecting tank here. So, they can collect and manually also you can collect and put it in the in the storage tank that here. Then after that, you know, you collected when you mechanically collected, you unload it in the in kind of hopper, and then in the hopper you have to segregate that, you know, or whatever the stems and other things that is present there, you have to manually uh, one has they have to take it out, and then then we have we take further care precautionary measures just to ensure the quality of grape that is coming into the process is perfect and ultimately it go to the crusher like this and you take out the uh, juices and you, know, you crush this material and fresh uh, this juices comes out like this. So, so 
Now treatment with the grape juice, grape contains a variety of flora on, on their surfaces. In order to destroy the organism which contaminates the wine, the, the cross grape um, mass is treated with sulfur dioxide or sulfide. I have, I have given the typical example, mostly I told you potassium metabisulfide is mostly used as a food preservative and 0.1 to 0.4 kg of potassium metabisulfide is added per 1000 kg of grape juice for well, this is required. The amount of sulfide depends on the maturity of the grape. I mentioned that if the maturity, if it is um, over matured, there is the possibility of more grapes, more uh, contaminants. So, you know, you required more potassium metabisulfide. Degree of contamination of the molds, temperature of the crushed grapes, etc. Because the fruits usually curves, usually should be curves at a low temperature. Uh, then uh, fermentation, <laughs> the choice of organism, the yeast uh, used uh, the preparation of the wine poses the should possess the following characteristics: their uh, alcohol tolerance. I mentioned during the alcohol fermentation process that here the concentration of alcohol is about 10 to 20 percent. So, 10 10 percent alcohol production we require minimum uh, 20 percent of sugar and 20 percent alcohol production minimum we require 40 percent of sugar. So, it should have the sugar tolerance as the alcohol, alcohol tolerance characteristics. Give the characteristic flavor or aroma or bouquet uh, and typical the ease that is used for the wine making industry what is called Saccharomyces ellipsodius. This is the yeast cell that is used in this fermentation process and higher yield in shorter period of time that is another characteristic of the organism. Now, if you, if I told you that uh, alga, that wine fermentation usually carried out in two stages. The grape juice contain high amount of sugar, so no sugar is required and if, if the sugar content is less then we add some kind of syrup in it. The oak wood container is used which does not impart undesirable color to the wine. And for the preparation of the red wine, red wood containers is used. Sometimes I mention this red colored wine, the color usually come from the, from the skin of the grapes. Sometimes the red wood also container also contribute some color to the wine. Now the capacity of the container is about 50, uh, 50,000 gallons, 50,000, uh, you know that one gallon is approximately equal to 3.78 liters. Now, let me talk about little bit on the primary fermentation process. In the primary fermentation process, the yeast cell suspension is added to the grape juice and then uh, fermentation occurs for 3 to 5 days. Sufficient tannins are extracted out during the active fermentation. Hesitation, for, hesitation further facilitated this process. 2 to 3 percent alcohol is generally produced in this fermentation tank and small amount of air is available so the yeast can grow. So, this is the primary fermentation process. Secondary fermentation process, the partially fermented juice is transferred to the secondary fermentation tank. Fermentation occurs about 7 to 11 days. The tank should be completely filled with fermentation broth so we can have the perfect anaerobic conditions. Then there should not be no way to increase the number of yeast cells in the secondary because you know that we know that during the anaerobic fermentation the growth of organism will be very low. So, yeast growth will be negligible and optimum temperature is 21 to 24 degrees centigrade and temperature controlled by cooling coil. <clears throat> I was talking about the one important step for winemaking industry is the racking. Ratting is done for two uh, dual purpose. One is for clarification of wine to prevent the undesirable flavor and substances coming out from the old yeast cells. Now, racking uh, drawn up the wine from the uh, from the lees or sediment. I told you that uh, that uh, potassium uh, pot potassium bitartarate potassium bitartarate that that produce actually that cream of tartar. This forms a lee. Lee kind of white layers that formation is there. 
the racking during racking process we separate the leaves and other sediment that is uh, that is we separated out this substance is less soluble in alcohol than in water and precipitated out so at the beginning that uh, potassium bitartrate will not give any kind of uh, uh, problem with the fruit juice but as soon as the alcohol production increases then it started producing some kind of lee at the surface then that is to be that precipitate has to be taken it out now <clears throat> the during aging uh, the as per wine is concerned that uh, the aging is very important the clarification of wine and development of flavor because you know aging uh, i told you when you when you keep the um, uh, fermented liquid for longer period of time in the cellar then uh, whatever suspended material is there that will settle down and not only that it gives an opportunity to enter that you know that alcohol and acid they uh, they combine together and form esters and we know the esters are responsible for development of different flavors so this is very important now wine is then uh, then flash uh, flash pasteurized heat for a short time i i mentioned uh, previously the hdst technique largely used in the biochemical industry for the uh, for the pasteurization process because the reason is that at lower temperature we find it is more it is more detrimental to the quality of the it affects the quality of the media with respect to vitamin and amino acid that that is will be destruction will take place but if you increase higher temperature that will be more effective to for killing the organism so if we use the high temperature short time so you expose the material for shorter period of time we for that your loss of vitamin and loss of amino acid in the system will be minimum that is why it is use the flash paper pasteurization process after flash uh, flashing it kept at the room temperature for 1 to 2 days at minus 3 to minus 4 degree centigrade to few days and uh, here i want to point out that we have two wine we have we call dry wine this is required 2 days for aging and fine wine it required 5 years for aging or you, you because why we know that wine if you keep it for longer period of time it will be more costly the so more more if you keep it for longer period the more acid and alcohol they form the esters so the harshness of the wine will be totally removed and and in exchange of that some good flavor good smell or fine taste will develop that is why it is very costly now <clears throat> the preparation of clear clear wine or clarification age wine is treated for clarifying the fine clarifying or fining agent i told you previously also sometimes the fine particles are removed by using some kind of filtered aid filter aid means some kind of bigger particle we add so that finer particle adds up on the surface of the bigger particle and bigger particle will be easy to separate it out so examples are bentonite isinglass that is kind of fish protein and gelatin and casein that is used in the packaging the <coughs> clarified one is placed in the oak barrel uh, for bulk sell in bottles or in can for unit sales bottles of small and medium size are pasteurized for 30 minutes 140 degree fahrenheit the contamination there are several contamination problem that we have we have lactic acid bacteria contamination problem then we have acetic acid bacteria contamination problem and yeast contamination problem that we have in the in this fermentation process the one typical contamination that i want to point out here that is the presence of leuconostoc mesenteroid and this leuconostoc mesenteroid produces dex dextrin and this causes the ropiness of the wine here i want to point out that ropiness means the rope formation this will be it form rope like this that you know that rope formation will take place like this so inside this beer you will be having this kind of rope formation this is undesirable and this is due to the presence of this leuconostoc mesen triad the saccharomyces cerevisiae is the common uh, common contaminants in this uh, wine because uh, with saccharomyces ellipsidias and saccharomyces cerevisiae they require same media same 
uh, for their growth and metabolism that is why and this is available largely in the atmosphere that is that is the common contaminants thank you very much